The moment of inertia of a square. A thin uniform rod is bent into a square of side length A. If the total mass is capital M, find the moment of inertia about an axis through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the square. Hint, use the parallel axis theorem. Okay, so you can see that we have a square, one side is A, and this is a uniform rod that has been bent into a square, so each uh, uh, segment here will have a mass capital M over 4. So we will have uh, 4 edges, each with a mass capital M over 4. Now, in order to solve this problem, I want to recall the result for a uniform rod. So recall that for a uniform rod with length length a we have the moment of inertia for rotation axis on the going through the center of mass is given by 1 over 12 M. Uh, so this is for length L. It is 1 over 2 M, uh, 1 over 12 ML square. But here, for each uh, edge of the square here, we have a, a length A. So this will be 1 over 12 with each having a mass capital M over 4 a square so we can see that we have uh, the moment of inertia with respect to center of mass equal to 1 over 48 capital M a square so uh, this you can also uh, calculate easily here so let's do that very quickly So here is our uniform rod and uh, we put the axis, y-axis and x-axis here. Let's say this is our center of mass right in the middle and we are at a distance x from the center of mass. This is at position um, x and it has a mass this mass element has a mass dm so the moment of inertia with respect to a center of mass axis rotations will be integral r square dm which is integral from minus uh, l over 2 to plus l over 2 x square a mass per unit length, capital M over A dx. So dm is equal to lambda dx, which is capital M over L dx. So this is L. So this gives us capital M over L, x cube over 3 to be evaluated between a minus L over 2 and plus L over 2. So we find that the moment of inertia is capital M divided by 3L times L cube over 8 times 2. So this gives us ML square over 12, the result that we are using here. Okay, so the moment of inertia for the uh, for this segment will be uh, 1 over 48 ma square with respect to the center of mass. Now I want to know the moment of inertia uh, with respect to the center of mass of the square and I will have four contributions. So I'm going to use the parallel axis theorem 
the parallel axis theorem. So the moment of inertia for an axis that goes through point P, which is the center of the square, will be the moment of inertia with respect to the center of mass of each segment plus the mass of each segment uh, multiplied with the distance squared between the two parallel rotation axes multiplied with 4 because we have 4 segments. So the distance between uh, this point and this point is as you can see a over 2. So uh, we will substitute for d a over 2. So this will be 1 over 48 um, a square plus 1 over 4 m a over 2 squared which is a squared over 4 and then multiply by 4 we obtain 1 over 12 capital M a square plus 1 over 4 capital M a square which will give us uh, 3 over 12 plus 1 over 12 4 over 12 which is 1 over 3 m a square so that's the answer we're looking for 1 over 3 m a square okay so we have calculated the moment of inertia for a square that was made out of a, a thin uniform rod uh, and the square each side has length a total mass is capital M so that each side will have a mass M o, capital M over 4. Now we want to know the moment of inertia about an axis through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the square. Uh, we are using the result for the uniform rod with length L which is 1 over 12 capital M L square for a center of mass uh, axis. So we're concentrating on this part center of max is right in the middle so this will have 1 over 12 m over 4 a squared so 1 over 12 m over 4 a squared is 1 over 48 m a squared so we have four of these sides and also the rotation axis is not here but it's basically at the center so the distance between two parallel axes is a over 2 so we have i center of mass plus m d squared the m over 4 the mass of this portion d squared for each segment it's the same result so it's the uh, the distance is a over 2 a over 2 a over 2 so we multiply this by 4 and we obtain 1 over 3 capital m a square as the final result